Welcome to oet for you Today we are going to discuss about the third OET writing criteria. Conciseness and clarity, which gives you seven points. You have to identify which information is and is not important for your reader. As you know, health professionals do not want irrelevant information that wastes the time or distracts from what is essential. You have to ask two questions in your mind. Is each bit of information you have identified relevant for your reader to continue care? Did you leave out things that would distract from your main points? You should also summarize the information you include in concise and clear language. Let's see a scenario of writing bad practice and good practice. You can see a bad practice first and then a good practice. Read this and understand what is the problem in this paragraph. You will find there is no clarity in this paragraph and the information are scattered. If you write this type of a paragraph, definitely your score will be very low. Let's see a good practice. You have to read this paragraph and understand whether it is clear or not. And you can see that it is clear and concise. Every bit of information is presented neatly and finely. If you write like this, you will get a high score of maximum 7 points in conciseness and clarity.